Good morning. Buddy, how'd you sleep, my baby? Did you sleep good? You ready to go potty? Are you ready to go potty, baby? You're so sweet. I love you so much. I love you so much, my babies. You wanna go potty? Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Go. Go potty. Oh shit, I'm in my underwear. Go, buddy, go! So I decided to make some bacon with some eggs, some red bell peppers, and a little bit of onion, and a little bit of onion salt. So I'm making bacon and egg burritos. I've got a little salsita here, a little salsa. Got my coffee going. I'm pretty much done with it. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm making. And I decided that today's going to be a cooking day. So I'm, I'm making beans in the crock pot. It's always nice to have beans and rice and just random things that you can... Buddy, what the hell? It's probably going to be a meal prep day just so that I can be prepared for the week so I don't have to get stuck trying to cook stuff. And that's what's going down. Hey loves, good evening. So it is about five o'clock. I just got done showering. Just did my routine where I put on the lip balm, the Jouer lip balm. I put on just the CeraVe moisturizer and the CeraVe uh, vitamin C serum. That's all I do in the evenings. I didn't do the serum. I think I forgot to, so I just skipped that. Okay, so I literally have done absolutely nothing today. All I did is eat, got up, I slept in, I ate, made myself a little breakfast. I ate, I watched football all day long. Uh, tonight's match, I don't really care about. The Seahawks lost, so I was a little irritated at that. Spend some time on TikTok, just like to kind of clear my head. Decided to jump in the shower. Now I'm all nice, clean, and fresh. Um, and because I've been pretty much like sleeping on and off all day, like I really need it this day. Uh, I've been working so hard for the last few weeks. Like I've been working a lot of overtime. So this weekend I decided no overtime. And I'm just gonna like, it's like go with a beat of my own drums, whatever. I just. What I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I just decided to do whatever I wanted this weekend. So uh, that's why I, I wasn't really urging to go shopping if I don't have to. I wasn't really in an urge to do anything. I just really wanted to relax and spend time at my house. Even though I work from home, it's not relaxing because you're you're working and you're, you're like going and going. Sundays, one of my favorite things to do is to just put on like a movie or like bump some banging music and start meal prepping. Like right now, I already made beans, black or like regular pinto beans. I'm about to make like a big batch of white rice, steamed rice. I'm gonna chop up a whole bunch of veggies and, and either grill them or put them in the oven. And so I'm ready for the week. One thing that is like super stressful is when I go on my breaks and I don't have anything to eat and then I have to like spend time cooking, like that's irritating. So I just wanna make sure that I set myself up for success for the week. Uh, this past week, I was super unorganized, and I only got to do, like, three workouts last week, so I need to get my shit together, and because I really do want to work out four to five days this coming up week. I really want to start building good habits uh, before the year is over. Like, I do not want to start January saying, like, oh, like, I want to eat better. No, like, I need to eat now. Like, I need to eat better now, and I need to, like, really get in the habit of of. of doing my workouts, even though the gym's closed. Like I can still work out at home, that's not an excuse. Also something that I think that like helps me out, that's been helping me out, I've been clearing my TikTok. I've been following a lot of people that are doing like fitness and like cooking recipes and even on my Instagram, like I try to like only look at people's posts that are positive. I, I'm trying to just kind of have a positive feed through workouts or through people that are like doing something positive and something that's gonna be productive instead of just like watching somebody uh, with stupid habits, you know what I mean? And it's no offense or shade to anyone, but like I just wanna be a better person altogether. So like it's, it starts with what you're seeing and with your, is in what, <laughs> and with what you're hearing too. I'm human, and, I'm human and I make mistakes and I, um, as of late, like, 
honestly with this whole quarantine lifestyle like it's easy to just like binge drink and like binge watch shows and just be lazy and eat junk and like I, I i do fall into those patterns from time to time but i like really want to change that that's why i want to create more uphill habits and the only way that i know to do that is to keep myself organized so right now i'm going to like clean my kitchen really well i'm gonna meal prep and then i'm also gonna clean my fridge because my fridge is a hot ass mess right now and i can't focus like when my when Things in my life are not in order, like I cannot focus. So that's gonna be the main thing that I'm gonna focus on right now. I'm gonna focus on cleaning my room. Well, my room is already clean, but I'm gonna clean my bathroom and organize it. And then I'm gonna clean this fridge. So that's what my Sunday is gonna contain, consist of. I'm not sure that I'll video that because like who wants to watch people clean? Um, but maybe I'll shoot a before and after. Actually, that's super embarrassing, but yeah, let's do a before and after. This is real life, folks. This is this is like real life, okay? My top, middle, like I just have a hot mess. Like there's no organization here. Like it's disturbing. And I did this to myself because I live alone. So, well, with Buddy, but anyway, Buddy doesn't make a mess. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a before and after. Brat. Here's a little brat. Okay, so I've emptied out my entire fridge. I pulled out everything. Some stuff is expired, some stuff is gonna expire. And uh, I have a lot. I have uh, cleared everything. I'm gonna clean this up as fast as possible so I can put back the stuff that needs to be refrigerated. And it also gives me a good idea of what's about to go bad. So I highly recommend clearing out your fridge. It looks chaotic right now, but I know it's gonna look beautiful when I'm done. Meal prepping in full effect. So these are called um, like cauliflower steaks, I guess. You just season them real well and then you're gonna throw them in the oven. I preheat it to 425. I went ahead and I squeezed fresh lemon juice. I added some red cayenne pepper, some turmeric, crushed paper flip or red chili Paper, uh, red, chi red, <laughs> red chili paper flakes while I'm watching my show. And then I added a little bit of this um, olive oil, not olive oil, but uh, all avocado and coconut oil. Simply because uh, olive oil is not good past 350. It can be damaging to you um, if you if you bake it for over 350 Fahrenheit, I believe. The max on this one is 490, so I'm I'm still good. And then I'm gonna do the same with my uh, I forget what these are called Brussels sprouts, kale, and then I have to throw out one of those watermelon or pineapples because they have gone bad. And so I've done a lot of progress. I've put my things away pretty much. And this is what my fridge is look. Oops. This is what my fridge is looking like. The top tier is for drinks and coffees and all that. Then the second tier is for like bacon, turkey bacon, my defrosted meats, uh, and then my tortillas and my guac, veggies and just random sauces. And then I have to put away the rest of my fruit. And then over here, just miscellaneous, like things that just don't fit in the top anymore. And then condiments some dairy and yeah so this is what it's looking like so now I just put them on a baking sheet with some of this wax paper nice and pretty the oven is nice and preheated at 425 and then you just cook for the next or sorry bake for the next 40 minutes I legit cooked up a storm baked the Brussels sprouts some cabbage white rice, a whole bunch of chicken for salads and just like random whatever, and cauliflower. So now I gotta clean that little mess over there. I feel so accomplished. I organized my fridge and I meal prepped. So I'm set for the week. Well, at least a few days. Ugh, feeling great. Now my kitchen's clean. I just have to put away my 
Instapot, but everything is clean. And I have to take out the garbage back there. Oh. I had a ton of energy prior to doing all the cooking because I had been resting all day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my Vlogmas day number six. Sunday, fun day. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I plan on going to bed relatively early because I am pretty tired and it's only 9. So I think by 10, 10.30 I should be out. I do want to wake up early tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. I adore you all and I'll see you on the next.